What's up everyone back for another beer review and today is Wednesday which of course means it's time for another Western New York Wednesday here on the channel and the beer I'm reviewing today comes from the other half brewing company yes the other half brewing company and that's because they are now out of both Brooklyn and Rochester New York and this is their Mmm, Fruit Dream, the plum, cherry, and vanilla version. So this is a Berliner Weiss that is brewed with the aforementioned three ingredients, along with some lactose, comes in at 4.2% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed in time of review. This can is approximately five weeks old. So why am I featuring other half brewing company now on Western New York Wednesday? Well, that's because they are technically a part of the Western New York area now. So quick story time, back in 2018, actually the middle of 2018, they bought the former Nedlo Brewing Company in East Bloomfield, New York, which is just to the southeast of Rochester, New York. And in late 2018, they started releasing beers out of that location. Now, they're not brewing there yet. Uh, they're not officially open. Uh, they're in the midst of some upgrades. I think they plan to officially open and brew beer in late winter into early spring, sometime around uh, then. In the meantime, they are shipping beer from their Brooklyn brewery to the East Bloomfield location, and they do releases on Fridays, typically at 11 a.m. Uh, they've done a couple Wednesday and Saturday releases. Uh, I've been to a couple of the releases, and it's awesome. It's awesome having other half in Western New York. They are about a three-hour round trip for me, but it's like a, you know, a quick day trip, half day, whatever. If I go to Rochester on a Friday, I can go there and hopefully get some beer. They sell it relatively quickly, but you know, if you go there on a Friday, you should be able to get some of their stuff. And I don't know if they're going to get distribution in the Western New York area down the line, like actual bottle shops in Buffalo and Rochester. Hopefully they do. If not, at least their brewery will be located in the Western New York area. And if you want to get some other half, you can make it happen. So uh, this beer I'm quite excited about because as you guys know from the channel, uh, I review a lot of their hot forward beers. I've had uh, some of their imperial stouts, some of their pastry stouts. I've only had like one Kolsch and one Pilsner from them, never had a sour. So it's I'm really excited to try out one of their sours. And on top of that, I've heard really good things about the mm, Fruit series and the mm, Fruit Dream series. I keep us, mm, mm, I, it's weird that they put that in the name. But yeah, I've heard really good things about this. So uh, not, not this can specifically, but just the series in general. And plum, cherry, vanilla. Lactose? Sign me up. Let's crack this open, get it in the glass. Now, I actually sent this can to the guys over at NerdSense and Kyle over at No Hype Beer Reviews. I want to say they're going to do a uh, live, not live, but a duo a beer review like they do over Skype. I don't know if they are going to. Hopefully they do. If they do, it'll probably be posted before I post this. But anyway, keep your eye out on that. Oh, so this is pouring out. You know what this is looking like right now as I'm pouring it? Man, that looks like cherry Kool-Aid. That looks like that, I can't say much more than that, cherry Kool-Aid. Has about a finger, finger and a half of a light pink head. It'll probably come off as white on camera, but in person, definitely a light pink. Looking quite creamy, there's some big bubbles as well. But yeah, that's cherry Kool-Aid. I mean, I, there's no other way to describe it for me, cherry Kool-Aid. Let's get a nose on it. Ooh, so this has been out of the fridge for about 25 to 30 minutes. And even though this is a base Berliner Weiss, I'm actually getting like, a slight salinity to the nose. It's smelling more like a goza in here. There is uh, some underlying like weedy graininess too from the Berliner Weiss. But I'm really just picking up on plum. I'm not getting sherry or vanilla. There's lactose and vanilla in here. You, for me anyway, I think there'd be a decent vanilla blast. Not really. <sighs> Honestly, I'm, only, I'm always honest with you guys when it comes to reviews and this does not smell like anything amazing. It just smells okay. Picking up mostly on the plums, some of that salinity, a little bit of that weedy graininess, but the nose is kind of a letdown. Now I will say this, there are uh, quite a few other half beers that the intensity of the nose is uh, lacking. And then when you drink it, it's like, oh man, okay. The nose let me down, but the taste makes up for it. I'm hoping that's the case here. I'm not sure, but I'll tell you right now that the nose is a bit of a letdown. So let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Yep, that's that's what it, it's exact. Wow, that's exactly what it did. So right up front, I can say this: I'm getting actually Berliner Weiss characteristics. Like this, you can tell this is kind of a base Berliner Weiss. It has a weedy graininess to it. It has a solid tartness. It's not sour. It's just tart. Right up front, though, a lot of cherry, a lot of cherry vanilla. My first initial impressions are this is drinking kind of like a cherry vanilla soda pop. Honestly. Yeah, so sweet cherry and vanilla up front, mixing in with some of that tartness. It's like a tart cherry vanilla soda pop. As it passes through the palate, a little bit of that weedy graininess from the Berliner Weiss pops in. 
It finishes semi-dry, more to the sweet side of things. Um, and yeah, finishes slightly tart as well. Body, higher side of light body, 4.2%. Yeah, it's appropriate. The mouth feels a bit lacking. There is lactose in here. I would want more of a creaminess. This is very effervescent and spritzy on the tongue, which I guess is appropriate for this style, but when you're saying there's lactose in here, I'd want a little bit of creaminess. This is not like those 450 North uh, fruit smoothie Berliner Weisses where you couldn't even tell if you're drinking beer. I mean, those are straight on just like fruit juices. This one is basically a Berliner Weiss that is supported by all those adjuncts. I'm not getting really any plum in the taste. That was the predominant note in the nose from the adjuncts. In the taste, it's all cherry, it's all vanilla. I would wanna, I would wanna drink this beer between, say, Memorial Day and Labor Day. This is the perfect summer crusher where you're taking it to a beach, uh, you're taking it poolside, um, whatever the case may be, you're gonna have a great time. Have you know a four pack of this at a barbecue. Yeah, this drinks like a Berliner Weiss that has all those adjuncts as opposed to just a fruit beer with like slight Berliner Weiss characteristics. Yeah, it's not, it's just, like I said, it's just, you know, moderately tart, not approaching sour. It does finish a little sweeter. It's really like a cherry soda pop that uh, has a little bit of tartness to it. It doesn't approach, I don't think, like a cherry, cherry vanilla, say, uh, uh, sorbet, or even a cherry vanilla sherbet, which would, you know, be like a, or like a ch cherry vanilla ice cream. Maybe because the vanilla is in there, you could say it's akin to a cherry vanilla ice cream with like a dial back sweetness, but there's a tartness in there, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So, I'm digging this. It's not the you know best fruited Berliner Weiss I've ever had, but it's very, very good. This is this is actually quite delicious. So I'm gonna give mm, Fruit Dream the plum, cherry, and vanilla version. I'm gonna give that a solid 4.25 out of five. My first sour from them, my first fruit is sour, and I'm really digging this. I wanna try more within the style. Uh, the Nerd Sense guys did another version uh, about a month ago, I think, at this point, and they were really loving it as well. I think they're going to like this one, too. Again, I hope they do a dual uh, review with Kyle, and if they do, I'm hoping Kyle enjoys it, too, because I know Kyle's not huge into uh, sours, but he does like fruited sours, if any. So anyway, 4.25 out of 5 from mm, Fruit Dream, the plum cherry vanilla version. If you've had this one, let me know, and uh, yeah, appreciate you guys stopping by for another Western New York Wednesday. Be on the lookout next Wednesday for another edition. Until then, cheers.